The Houston Rockets had arguably the worst defense in the NBA. They ranked second to last in defensive rating and ranked last in fast break points allowed. They were giving up almost 120 points per game, but they actually ranked pretty high in paint defense. They just didn't have an elite defensive stopper who could make life difficult for opposing team's best players. But after signing Dylan Brooks, that has now changed. Towards the end of the season, Brooks led the NBA in effective field goal percentage allowed on half-court matchups among 91 players with at least 3,000 matchups. So he actually had a strong case for being the best lockdown defender in the NBA. And while I get that title to Jaden McDaniels and Drew Holiday, Brooks was still in my top five for sure. What really makes Brooks such an elite defender is how disciplined he is. De'Aaron Fox is one of the shiftiest guards in the league, so it's pretty easy to fall victim to one of his hesitation moves. But that's not something Brooks does often. He does a great job at keeping his hands up without leaving the ground when he thinks the ball handler is about to shoot. And as a ball handler, hesitation moves are the ultimate bailout due to how effective it is and how hard it is to defend in any situation. So when you go up against someone like Brooks who doesn't fall for it, there isn't much you can do. But he also has great time and he knows when to jump, which is due to his insane anticipation and watching tons of film, learning players' tendencies and movement patterns. In the last few possessions. Curry, no. We're really going to see the fireworks. Shot clock at six. Looks again, Harden man. Shot over Brooks. Talked about it earlier. It's almost playoff basketball at this juncture. Foxes fade away, too strong. Brooks' versatility on defense is amazing as well. We just see him lock down guards, and here he is defending Pascal Siakam. He's able to defend bigger players because Brooks is a pretty big guy as well, if we're being honest. He's 6'7 and weighs over 225 pounds. And when you combine that with his physicality and hard-nosed mentality, you have a player who can single-handedly disrupt offenses. Three-point Memphis lead here in the early going. Who's off last? Conchar with the rebound. Darwin will down Bain. Mobley inside. Who can get the rebound? Simmons, full head of steam, drives at Aldama. Irving gives way to Durant. Durant off the bounce. Long That'll be all for today's video. Let me know how effective you think Dylan Brooks' defense will be for the Rockets this upcoming season.